Hey, this is Frank Yosa, CEO of Ketonate, and today I want to cover something that comes up probably twice a day where someone mentions, oh, well, if I drink this much or how much can I drink to get into ketosis? So I want to really clarify and redefine ketosis or explain the two different ways to define ketosis so you really know what that means. One way to define ketosis is that your body is burning fat and making ketones. So you could also call it endogenous ketone production that is being made inside of your body. Another definition for ketosis is ketones in your blood. Like, look, wow, there's ketones in your blood. You are in ketosis. And the problem with that is just, uh, there are many problems with that. And most of the companies that sell ketone salts, they will all, every single one of them, even my competitor with the ketone esters says the, the easy, you know, within 15 minutes, 30 minutes, you're in ketosis. It's very misleading because it makes people think that they are drinking this drink and then magically burning fat, which it does not do, or they're drinking this drink and they don't have to do anything. And, you know, they're in ketosis. Um, and what makes it even more confusing is a lot of the scientific papers, you know, these scientists aren't, you know, marketing people and they randomly decided to pull out of their butt this phrase, nutritional ketosis. So they refer to, you know, drinking exogenous ketones, putting you into nutritional ketosis. But what the heck is that? Nutritional means, you know, eating food, eating food to get to ketosis. To me, that would mean eating an 80, 15, 5 diet of, you know, a ketogenic diet. Um, so it's extremely confusing. Who's right? Who's wrong? I don't know. But the, um, it makes it a lot easier to market a product and say you're in ketosis. I just got a text message from someone that, you know, was six to nine months using KE4, our stronger drink. And she, we sent her some KE1 and she said, okay, well, great. I want to better understand how this puts, you know, my husband into ketosis. And it was just like, ah, it doesn't, it doesn't put them in, you know, endogenous ketosis, at least in the short term, in the immediate term. Now, if you use this drink and, uh, you decide to skip lunch or skip a few meals or or go go more hours without eating than you would have otherwise, then sure, that lack of food and that lack of carbs, you know, can help your body uh, get into the natural, you know, regular ketosis mode, but drinking it, because otherwise you could literally drink, you could eat a cake or drink a cake if you decide to put it in a blender, you could eat a cake and then, you know, drink this drink and then suddenly be in ketosis? No, no, that it just doesn't work that way. And half, I did another video on half of the problem is sugar. So you really need to, you know, get the sugar down. So it's not just about getting the ketones up. It's about getting the sugar down as well. So I even tell people before even buying the drink, attack the sugar first. Now, the drink can help with sugar cravings and stuff, but if your plan is to eat the exact same food with the high sugar and just add some ketones to it, you know, you could actually gain weight. If you ate the exact same thing and ate a bunch of sugar, um, this would just be compounding more calories. So, you know, go after the sugar first, or when you take the ketone ester, you know, let it do its thing and help you with the lower cravings and listen to it. One guy took the, uh, the drink, the KU1, and then an hour later, an hour later, so he took it at 8 a.m. and an hour later at 9 a.m. he, you know, went and had eggs. And I said, "Well, were you hungry?" And he said, "No, but I just did it out of habit." I'm like, "Okay, well, it's it's not going to do anything. You're just you 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 wasted that opportunity. It might have made him not hungry, so he could have just skipped breakfast and gone straight to lunch. But you know, he still ate. Now, for some people, when they when they do still eat, they find themselves less hungry, so they eat half of it, and they're just like, you know, I just don't feel compelled to eat the rest. But if you are, are still uh, in a habit of being a, in the clean plate club, whatnot, and, you know, eating an hour after taking the ester, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be waste. So my definition of ketosis is the body, endogenous ketosis, which is the body burning fat uh, to make ketones. And you can call it exogenous ketosis if you're drinking ketones. It mimics many of the benefits but it's not the same thing. It's not really putting the body into real ketosis. Now it can be used to complement people that have, you know, already a 0.5 or 1.0 millimolar baseline, but your goal is to get them to two or 
three millimolars, great. Yeah, then you can be drinking it exogenously and your blood ketones will go up higher. And keep in mind, it's not so much your blood ketones, it's when it leaves your blood and goes to the rest of your system. People think, well, the exogenous ketones, the numbers drop off, so they get worried, so they take more. You might not necessarily need to do that because uh, they had this one brain study where the ketones started to drop after 45 minutes in the blood, but then they timed it in the brain and it was still in there after 90 minutes. They actually stopped timing, so we wonder how long it stayed in there at high levels. So it's not so much about ketones in your blood, but yes, you can augment someone who's already, you know, on an endogenous production, you're already making ketones yourself. Um, and just if you want to, you know, elevate the numbers higher, it's not going to burn your fat more unless you trigger some, uh, some skipped meals, whatnot. But keep in mind that also MCT oil, uh, C8 MCT oil is kind of like an exogenous ketone. It also won't burn fat for you. It will raise your blood ketone numbers, but you have to think of uh, C8 as Half of it is, think of it as an oil, a regular coconut oil, that the fact that you have 100% of this fat will uh, go toward your numbers, toward your 80, 15, 5. So yes, in one sense, the C8 oil, half of it, let's think of it as half of it, will help your body make its own ketones because you're eating the right ratio. If you're eating cake and MCT oil, that's not going to make your body burn fat. And But the half of the C8 goes through the liver and about um, 15, 10% of the C8 turns into ketones. That's kind of like what the ketone ester does. Half of the ketone ester is called 1,3-butanediol. It's combined with beta-hydroxybutyrate. The 1,3-butanediol goes through the liver and makes ketones, but at a rate that's much higher, about 70% instead of 10, 15%. So you don't have the excess calories, whatnot. Um, but MCT oil is also very misleading to think you're consuming C8 MCT oil and you're and you're in ketosis, you know, you can have a cake and eat MCT oil and your blood ketone numbers might go up. That's not real ketosis. So you really need to, you know, separate the benefits of the C8 into two parts. And I like to actually just drink um, liquid coconut oil because then I can actually consume more of it than the C8. The C8, you have a limited consumption because of GI and you have to take it with meals. But liquid coconut oil, uh, super cheap. Um, but it doesn't necessarily make ketones in the liver like the C8, but it applies towards the 100% the fat. So I hope that helps. And now I can send this video. Hope it doesn't sound too impersonal that I send a video, but instead of me texting little one-liners, I can actually give you a full-on in-depth explanation of uh, ketosis and whether the drink puts you in ketosis. In my opinion, is that it does not. Um, well, it's not an opinion. It's just a how you define ketosis. So hope that helps. My name is uh, Frank again, and you can email me directly, frank at ketoneaid.com. And please subscribe. You'll find information on this YouTube channel that you won't find anywhere else. And uh, and leave a comment as well. When people leave comments, it lets other people know that you know people are are watching this. And let me know if you learned something. Like, hey, I didn't know that exogenous ketones were. Um, and not really creating real ketosis and also love it if you did a screenshot of the youtube video and say what you learned and go ahead and post it with uh you know tag me on instagram and we will be you know starting to send out free product to people that comment and retweet the information so we can help share it all right thanks